Hi, welcome in, May 7th. Let's go to God's word. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John 3, verse 2. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Ephesians 4, verses 22 to 24. If we are his children, then we are his heirs also, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, sharing his inheritance with him. Only we must share his suffering if we are to share his glory. Romans 8, verse 17. As for me, I will see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake in your likeness. Psalm 17, verse 15. You are a child of God. Someday you will see me as I am. You will face to face with me in glory. Until then, I am training you to be made new in the attitude of your mind to put on the new self. Although your new self is being conformed to my image, this process doesn't erase the essence of who you are. Instead, the more you become like me, the more you develop into the unique person I designed you to be. Let's read that again. Instead, the more you become like me, the more you develop into the unique person I designed you to be. You have been a member of my royal family since you first trusted me as Savior. Thus, you're a fellow heir with me, sharing my inheritance. However, you must share my suffering if you are to share my glory. When you encounter hard times, search for me in the midst of your struggles. Ask me to help you suffer well in a manner worthy of the king's household. Everything you endure can help you become more like me. Remember the ultimate goal. You will see my face in righteousness and be satisfied.